Howdy Rock Buddies, it's Papa. Nice to be talking with you today. And today's topic is pegmatites. Pegmatites, yes, we're going to find out what they are, how they form, where you find them, and why they form. So stay tuned, and if you like this video, please subscribe. It helps me immensely. Here we go with pegmatites. So what in the world is a pegmatite? A pegmatite is a rock with bigger than normal mineral crystals. Here is a hunk of unweathered granite from a granite quarry. And we have learned in another video that the minerals in granite are quartz, which is usually gray or clear, feldspar, which is usually white or sometimes pink, biotite mica, which is always black, and muscovite mica, which is silvery. Usually the mineral crystal sizes in granite are about as big as Abraham Lincoln's ear on a penny, plus or minus. Here is a hunk of granite pegmatite. It has the same minerals, quartz, feldspar, biotite, and muscovite as the other sample, but look how large the mineral crystals are. They're as big as Abe Lincoln's whole penny, plus or minus. And here are some more examples of granite pegmatite with larger than normal crystals, mineral crystals. Now here we have a gorgeous hunk of potassium feldspar that came from a metamorphic granite outcrop called megacrystic microcline gneiss that's found in the Brevard Fault Zone. But the main thing to remember is that it is a bigger than normal mineral crystal. What is this outstanding specimen I'm holding? Yes, you're right, it's muscovite mica. This muscovite mica was part of a large uh, granite pegmatite body that gave rise to a mica mining industry. This map shows locations in Georgia where muscovite mica was mined uh, from these uh, large granite pegmatites bodies with huge pieces of muscovite mica in them. And uh, the area that's circled in red in Hartwell, Georgia is still currently a functioning muscovite mica mine. The black areas on this map show muscovite mining localities in North Carolina. Here's some hysterical, I mean historical pictures of uh, mica processors of long days long gone by. But today, the mica industry is still the thriving industry. Mica is hugely used in makeup, uh, lip gloss, a highlighter, um, and it's also used to make that shiny, sparkly um, appearance in automotive paints. You, my rock buddies, have probably figured out by now that most pegmatites come from granite. That is true. Of course, you can have pegmatites from other igneous rocks like uh, diorite and even uh, gabbro but most pegmatites come from granite. We're talking granite. Most pegmatites form in granite. Uh, we're talking about the eastern United States mainly because that's what I'm familiar with. We're not talking about metamorphic granite or granite nice. We're talking about granite. And that's an interesting clue about pegmatites. That tells us that since pegmatites are formed in granite, then that granite that they're formed in was never metamorphosed into granite gneiss. That's a clue too. That tells us that there's been no mountain building events since all this granite was emplaced. That means 
all of this granite or a lot of this granite perhaps most of this granite where these pegmatites are formed was in place during the last major crashing event we had called the Alleghenian orogeny, the Alleghenian mountain building event. By far most of these granite pegmatite bodies that we find all in up and down the eastern United States uh, have large mineral crystals that are the same minerals as regular size granite. Uh, that being quartz, <clears throat> excuse me, feldspar, biotite, and muscovite. What, what makes these crystals grow big? The main thing that makes them grow big is that there is a lot of water in the molten mix as the granite is forming. Water is considered a volatile element. That means it um, vaporizes easily and the water helps uh, keep the uh, magma molten while these crystals grow larger. And here are some other volatile elements that can be present in the granite magma that also facilitate big crystal growth. Hey Rock Buddies, the cool thing about pegmatites is that uh, occasionally uh, perhaps rarely, the molten granite magma mix contains not only these volatile elements that help make big crystals grow, but also contains exotic elements. <laughs> and that is what makes pegmatites fabulous. Here's a list of the most common exotic elements that are found in these granite bodies that produced pegmatites that I know of. Let's talk about what each one of these elements contributes to the pegmatite. When the exotic element beryllium is present in the uh, granite mix, you get beryl. Beryl is a semi-precious stone. It has this hexagonal type of structure to it. The color of the beryl can vary depending on uh, how much chromium, vanadium, and an iron are in it. Different combinations of these can produce the opaque barrel that can be kind of greenish blue and yellow, or the clear aquamarine, which is aquamarine in color, even emerald. One of our very most valuable precious gemstones. Rock Buddies, the main thing to remember about this is that both aquamarine and emerald are versions of uh, beryl, and beryllium is the main uh, exotic element that gives rise to them. Hey guys, look at this beauty. This is called hidonite, and it's found in North Carolina. It is actually a mineral called spodamine, which contains aluminum, silicon, and the magic ingredient, lithium. And this is found also in granite pegmatites. This black mineral is called tourmaline, and it is also found in pegmatites. You can differentiate tourmaline from biotite because biotite will scratch with a nickel. Tourmaline with a hardness of seven will not. Now the main ingredient and tourmaline is the element boron, which combines with other elements to form this beautiful black tourmaline. And here we have a gorgeous garnet pegmatite. This beautiful piece of quartz is called rose quartz, and this specimen comes from the hog granite pegmatite mine near LaGrange, Georgia. The main exotic element that contributes to rose quartz is called Dumortorite, a strange named element that I'll spell for you. All right, my most excellent rock buddies, that's Pegmatite 101 for you. I hope it was useful. If so, please subscribe. And this is Papa saying, have a great day and happy rock hunting.
pop out.